Laura. Hey, Jason. How are you? I'm all right. I'm kind of tired. I just landed and I didn't sleep last night, so I look like shit. But um, you look great. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so God, you I'm heard, so annoyed with this. You heard the Lombardo press conference, yes? I mean, most of it. I wasn't getting very good service on this airplane, and I literally just walked over to um, baggage claim. But I see he he confirmed my report about encrypting the radio. Yeah, I mean, isn't that crazy? He's saying that's for increased security for the LVMPD, but it sounds like mm -hmm. they don't want people downloading radio communications and analyzing them in the future. I know. So, hold on. Really, Let me just. Sure. Um, hold on. Yeah, I'm while you situate this. yourself there, really no. Yeah, I need to grab my bag, though. I don't have anyone with me, and, like, I don't want someone stealing my suitcase, so I'm trying to, like, get my bag. No Before. problem. Work that out. Work that out. I don't see it. I'll, I'll vamp while you do that. But basically, Laura, there were no real revelations during that press conference. He no, and they to... said Mary Lou Danley wasn't going to be facing charges. Like, what the fuck? Right. Well, he seemed to initially contradict what the uh, lawyer for the LVMPD said at the hearing in Las Vegas last Friday, where he said there was another suspect. But then Lombardo said there is, in fact, a suspect being investigated by the FBI. Didn't really go into any detail as to what that suspect's involvement might be or uh, really anything. And, I mean, this, this press conference really, there was no new information whatsoever. People just I seem know. to... I know. Hold on. Yeah. I got to get my bag really quick. No problem. People just seem to point out discrepancies in what Lombardo was saying. Uh, I don't even know where my suitcase is. This is so annoying. Okay. Oh, what is so, I, like, I can't get a fucking Uber. I can't do anything. It's like my life is so annoying. Sorry to hear that, Laura. So people who don't this know... This goddamn fucking press conference that the sheriff doesn't want to like, give any information out. Okay. Well, let's stay calm. Let's, let's just make note of the fact, Laura, that uh, Sheriff Lombardo changed the official policy of the Las Vegas Metro PD with regard to their press conferences by disallowing members of the public uh, or independent journalists. They only allow credentialed journalists. Now, I know in Washington, D.C., to go into various areas of the Capitol building, you need credentials that are issued by Congress, but do you know anything about what kind of credentials you need in Las Vegas to be considered credentialed press? No, I don't no. know. It's very vague, very vague. Hold on one second. Did they lose my bag? You've got to be kidding me. Well, furthermore, I would I would add that uh, people are, are we asking live right now? Sorry. We are, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like having a little meltdown. In the I didn't realize you didn't know that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I thought we were just talking. No, 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 <laughs> I'm so no, no. Sorry. No. We're live. We're live. I'm it's sorry. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm just finding my bag. This is the prop. I mean, but this is independent journalism, right? I raced to Las Vegas. You were with me last night. One second. Um. I'm People gonna... are going to be speculating about that, Laura. Can you to be clear, me a favor, you and please? I were at the. Can you just help me? Um, we were at the James O'Keefe book signing event together last night when I got a text that this uh, that this uh, press conference was happening, and we did try to arrange for Laura to get to Vegas a little earlier, but weren't able to make that happen. And of course, even if she had gotten there on time. It's very unlikely that she would have been allowed into the press conference based on our interactions with the Las Vegas Metro PD in the past.